I know you guys can struggle with 3-4 odd blitz everybody, so sitting 7 with uh, hovering technique, so it's a uh, simulated 8-man pressure. I can struggle with it against it as well, especially in these tight compressed formations. So let's see how I adapt right after our message from CC. Ready to dominate Weekend League? Head on over to MaddenTurf.com for all the ebooks, tips, memberships, everything you need to start heading on that road to top 100. Turf team, Route Combo here, and I'm going to be showing you something you've been asking for day after day. Hey, RC, how do you pick up the blitz? How do you pass protect? How do you how do you get these these players to chop block, <clears throat> right? How do, how do I pick up the blitz and trips tight end whenever my running back and the tight end are on the same side of the screen? They're running 146 on the left-hand side. They're just screaming in. So I'm going to go over, I'm going to go over a bunch. I'm going to go over how to, how to max protect the different way to slide protect, who you should ID in again when you go against nickel normal, when you go against 3-4 odd, when you go against 146, all different formations. You ID and double team different people. Uh, there's different ways to protect, uh, to pick up the, the the meta of sitting seven and hovering with an eighth, eighth player. And if you're new here as well, um, or if you're a newer player, um, it's also going to go over some of the basics of pass protect. And I think you're going to get a value, uh, some value add there as well. We'll have one or two little money route combos um, that you're going to see me display here, but it's going to focus on how to uh, how to, how to protect your passer. And there's one hidden gem that very few people know about of how to. Uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is because you're going to have to watch the video somewhere somewhere in middle middle late part of the video. There's going to be an extremely good tip that very few people in this game know. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure to watch the whole video. Once again, I appreciate all the support. I've spent like three hours today putting videos together for you. Uh, I, I really I really hope you enjoy this. Leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And let's break down how to protect your passer. We'll see you on this. All right. So your opponent comes out on nickel normal. How do you block the this blitz, right? It's a very, very popular blitz. Or not very popular blitz, but it's a popular blitz. blitz. It's good. Now, you got to know, different formations, you have to do different things to block. Uh, on offense, what formation you're in to block something. And then also on the defensive side, what they're in. 3-4 odd, 1-4-6, nickel normal, um, are all all a little bit different. And the way to block them are a little bit different. I mean, 3-4 odd and 1-4-6 are pretty similar, but Nickel normal is different. So, uh, as you can see, this is the blitz everybody. Literally blitz seven. A lot of people will hover as well with the eight. So, how do you pick this up? So, ideally, you want to be in a formation like a gun bunch, a uh, this tight formation. As you can see, I have a tight end, which I subbed in uh, as a wide receiver instead of a tight end, which I've spent countless time... <laughs> Uh, putting together this uh, this tight to add to our Oakland Raiders offense, and I've spent about three hours tonight uh, doing that. So I hope I hope you all really enjoy it because it's uh, it's it's really good. But that will show you exactly how to get the that uh, tight end to receiver. Now, also on the left hand side, you have a running back blocking. So if you have a tight end on the line of scrimmage on the right, and then a running back blocking on the left. So this will allow you to to block seven. Now. If you see, I block seven, and let's just run it and see what happens, right? All I'm doing is max protecting. Okay, so as you can see, someone comes in free. Now, the to counter this, to counter what they're doing, so even, like, that's what's frustrating, right? You can be like, whoa, out combo, man. They blitz seven, right? I block seven. Why did it still come in? It's because you still got to do other things. The way the game is programmed, right? So, um, and, and it's good. This is a skill gap. This brings skill gap. So you're going to max protect. You're going to slide to the same side uh, as the tight end or away from the running back. This is a common blocking scheme amongst good players. Uh, let me just set up this defense real fast. All right. Boom, like that. So you're going to slide to the opposite side of the running back. So, so right on here. Um, and now you're gonna have to ID the mic. So with with regards to nickel normal, you're gonna ID the blitzing slot corner here on this right hand side. And a a as you see, 
everything gets picked up. I literally have all day. I literally had 10 seconds, not 10 seconds, but I had, I had six seconds and they blitzed seven. I, I'm not worried about their route combos on the back end. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to even create back route combos here. Right. So as you can see, the blitz seven, uh, putting, putting a, an eighth blitzer, like that's manned up to the running back and kind of usering, usering right there, as you can see, gets, gets picked up with the way, uh, that, that we block, right? So this is a very <clears throat> common way of doing a match protect, slide away from the running back, and then ID, ID a mic. ID the mic, but you got to know who to ID. In a nickel normal, you need to ID from at least this tight formation, uh, this slot blitzing DB to pick up nickel normal. Now, and when I say like, hey man, we got some good route combos here, right? So when they, when they blitz everybody like this, I'm just going to quickly show you, like, it, it's not, it can be difficult, but it's not as hard to beat uh, Blitz everybody. It can be difficult, like, down after down after down. All right, so they're doing something like this, and I like this route combo, like, where you have a flat route, a corner route, um, and then either a hitch or an in route. So you have these three guys, and if you have playmaker on your, or not playmaker, uh, identifier on your quarterback or identifier on your center, you can, uh, you can see where their user is. And if you know where their user is pre-snap, you know to probably go away from the user. So right here, what I would do, honestly, is I would set this up like this. And you're like, oh, that looks awful. It does look awful. But watch this. You know, or you should know, that the running back, the tight end, and the inside receiver here are going to flip. So I'm going to flip this formation. I already have everything set up. And now look at it. And boom, 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 boom. Quick hike them. Quick hike them. Let's go. Look at that. Bam. Easy route combos. Pre-snap, you need to know. You need to know who you need to who how you pick up the blitz. And then pick it up. Okay? And have a good route combo behind it. Now I didn't pick up the splits because uh, I needed to block block the tight end uh, right here. So I was only blocking six and they and once again the, the blitz came in but i had a good route combo behind it right so bang easy easy this video is not all about all these route combos you can go to madtrip.com and purchase the oakland raiders guide uh i'm I've, I, look i say that it's late in the year but i've also put up a bunch of oakland raiders uh tight uh, money play so go and check out that playlist of madden 20 tips all right we are back three four odd uh, let's do, let's do, let's do the big one, right? The one that everyone has issues with cover four drop show two. All right. So once again, I'm in, I'm in the tight formation. This is, this is the formation I love to run. So this is what I'm in, right? So, um, let's do like this. This is what people do, right? This is what you see a lot. And then what people really like to do now is they like to you like to man up the uh, the running back, <clears throat> something like this. Okay, so once again, this is not about the route combos. I, I show you route combos because I, I, I love you know my name is route combo right. But once again, what you do to to block the splits is you max protect, and once again, what's really nice about this formation is you have a tight end on the line of scrimmage blocking, and then also a running back on on the opposite side, so you can easily max protect. I like to slide to the right, so slide away, meaning not necessarily always slide to the right, slide away from the running back, and then uh, I like to ID the mic, which is the outside left, which is the outside left uh, linebacker, okay? And as you can see, this is going to be picked up. I had all day to throw the ball. He fell over himself a little bit, but look, they're blitzing seven plus hovering slash putting an eighth guy manning up to the running back and using him. Um, and you have all day, all day. So that's how you stop. And th that's how you, that's how you, you pick up, pick up the blitz on three, four odd. Now this linebacker kind of fell over himself, but as you can see, my running back was there and he's molly whopping him there. Right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with hovering with an eighth guy. Essentially hovering is is not gonna get it done, okay? 
They're gonna have to send eight. They're gonna have to send eight. If they send eight, you gotta be able to beat it, right? And that's where you need to have the rock combos. Stay on this YouTube channel. We've broken down how to beat the blitz multiple times. Just go to my tips section, tips playlist, or go to madinturf.com. Um, but that's 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 what you do to stop uh, <clears throat> three four odd, right? That's that's what you do there. Now let's 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 have a little fun. Let's also now do big dime one four six. It's the same principle as three four three four odd. Uh, but this time, like something like this, you know, bring in your guy there. So now they're both on the contains. Okay. So it's the it's the same thing. You're gonna max protect. You're gonna slide your your line opposite of the running back. And instead of ID in the mic with the outside linebacker, it is now the blitzing DB. Okay. All right. So. Oops. And he gets chipped. All right. So I had all day once again to throw the ball. So let's uh, let's go back to prep to the instant replay because, like I said, it's not about the route combos right here, but it's about picking up the blitz. Look, it's picked up. It's it's boxed. Okay. And both these underneath routes were open, by the way. But I'm just sitting here looking at how the blitz is picked up, right? Slide to the right, max protect means Julian Edelman um, is going to be picking up the blitzing DB on the right. The running back here, as I'm ID because I ID'd, I shifted the line to the right. It's going to uh, give me a one-on-one -on -one with the running back, which is what you want because he's going to chop block just like that every single time. So let's 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 have a little bit more fun, right? Like we could talk about pass protection all day long. I'm not going to talk about it all day long. Let's have a little bit more fun. Let's go to Trips Tight End. So now, Trips Tight End is another formation I really like. Uh, there's some things on defense you can do to really bag Trips Tight End. So that's why I like to come out in tight um, and then audible to, to Trips if you want to run Trips Tight End. And it also allows me to have a. Uh, <clears throat> it also it also will, will allow you to have a. Um, A wide receiver at tight end. So as you can see, let's uh, let's come out and run. Cover two sync. We're going to show you right there. Easy blitz to come in. Uh, let's just you know everybody knows what this blitz is, but let's just send five wide out here. Uh, and of course, he kind of got chipped, so it, the blitz didn't come in. But you, you know what the blitz is. I don't. I don't need to show you the blitz. All right. So let's <clears throat> let's show you um, trips tied in. How to once again? You need to. You, it's a hash game, so I don't know why I'm not on hash. You're either gonna be on left hash, hash or right hash. Very rarely are you gonna be in the middle of the field. It's the worst place to be. All right. So let's do. Uh, <clears throat> Let's do something, something like. Well, I'm not worried about the route combo. Let, let's let, let's let's show you how you you can pick up the blitz here. So they bring in the guy here, right? So where tight is really good at. <clears throat> look at Julian Edelman as my tight end. Where tight is really good is that it has a blocking tight end line of scrimmage on the right and a running back blocking on the left hand side. Where trips tight end, it has the tight end and the running back on the same side. So it naturally in a game like this, where these corner blitzes are so deadly, on that especially when they're on contains like this, it 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 forces you to because if you don't do anything, even if you block the running back here, um, if you have a really good pocket, you can manipulate it a little bit. Let me let me hike the ball here. Um, he didn't come in. I, I don't I don't know exactly why he he did decide not to come in, but. That the, the the guy just just flies in, right? Just flies in. So what you have to do to be able to to stop this is you're gonna have to motion, motion, motion snap. So what I mean by that is, right now you don't have to motion snap. There's no threat on the left hand side. 
But once when they do this, and you're like, oh, shoot, right? You've been there, right? You're like, oh, man, that, that blitz is coming. I don't have a guy to be able to pick that up. What am I going to do? All right, so here is a very basic uh, route combination, <clears throat> a three-man route combination. So this this middle receiver, you're just going to motion hike him right when he gets to the, to the tackle, and boom, as you can see, he, he picks him up, and it's blocked, right? Now... You can do other things as well uh, with different route combinations on the back end. So if you if if you want, um, like like for for example, this is this is a this is a really good one right here. Okay, it's a four man route combination. You don't have to always you don't always have to block the running back as well. Like if they're not sending like really heavy blitz, right? Okay, so this is going to, once again, motion block him. Motion block him right before he gets to the tackle, just like that. Step up in the pocket and throw some lasers, okay? Now, the that that route combination is is very nice for multiple reasons. I'll just give you one little tidbit. So you have, you have the hitch post route from the tight end on the left-hand side, and this little hitch route is just glitchy. And then you have the mesh concept from the running back wheel route and the drag route from the inside receiver. Once again, motion hike, bang. I, I probably could have hiked it uh, just a, a step before then. But as long as you, I took, I, I stepped up in the pocket of hair um, and we were able to pick it up. So then that's another way uh, to protect. Let's pick a new play. That's another way for your pass protection. So if you don't have a formation with the tight end on the scrimmage on one side and the running back blocking on the other, um, and they're sending they're sending some type of pressure on that on that side, then you can uh, you can do that. So I'm going to show you one last concept here. There's a few different things. You, there's let, let's say like a uh, a big nickel over G. It looks like there's not really a threat for anything. There's not really a threat here on the right hand side, but <clears throat> but we like we like to hit this deep crossing route on the right, okay? And let's say that they have a uh, power specialist right here, all right? So we want to double team him, and then let's say they have an edge threat guy right here. So we want to ID ID him. So what's going to happen is the guard and the tackle is going to ID, is going to double team the the right of screen defensive tackle and the defensive end is going to come flying in, but he's going to get chop blocked. Well, he didn't get chop blocked, but in in games, 90% of the time, he ends up getting chop blocked. So this is a good way and a very good way to take away to take away an edge threat elite along with double teaming a, a power specialist or if they have... Uh, either way, it's really... It's really good against max protection or max coverage defense, and they have a lot of <clears throat> they have a lot of abilities on our defensive line. So this is really going to take away that right hand side. So if you have somebody mobile, agile, hostile, they can you can roll out here to the right and then hit, hit that deep crossing route if you need be. If let's say they had an edge threat on this left, but once again, this is a great way against max coverage to make you really only worry about two linemen because the other two are just completely bagged and and so that allows you you, you know you can be able to step up in the pocket to the right hand side um, because once again pre-snap what are you looking at there's nobody over the left tackle uh, there's not a db over there so you're not really you're not worried about a threat right there there's nobody over the right you've been playing the game they've been playing coverage defense but this power specialist or this edge threat elite is really giving you trouble uh, that's when you can do that, okay? So let me give you one last tip. If you stayed all this way over 11 minutes into this video, you deserve a complete banger of a tip, right? So this is something that you probably don't know. So let's go to Trips Tight End. Now, once again, it doesn't matter the, the formation, but in practice mode, you don't see it as, as much as play now, but... Once you start trying to double team and then ID the mic, in practice mode you won't see it. But during the, in the game, it 
your 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 quarterback starts doing all these hand motions, you know, telling you what to do. So it ends up taking a solid like six to seven seconds, it feels like, to double team a player and then also ID the mic. So what you can do is you can click on any player besides your quarterback, right? Your running back, your tight end, whoever you want to click on, and then do your your double team and then your ID the mic, and it instantly comes up and it will save you about three or four seconds pre-snap. And that, that can mean a lot, especially when you're coming out in a formation like tight and then audibly into a trip tight end. You'll start running low on time. And also, uh, it allows your opponent less time to set up on defense. Uh, but all you have to do, the trick there, is just is just go to a lineman, uh, you know, your, your, your tight end, your running back, and, then, and then, then do your adjustments. Now, in practice mode, there's no delay, which is nice because if there was the hand motions in practice mode, it really, it really pissed people off. But, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. There was a ton of knowledge in here on the pass protection. And if I didn't go over something you wanted, leave in the comment section below, and we'll see you on the sticks.